It's been so long since I've ever gotten to sit at a mic and talk about Smash 4. <laughs> it's my first time, so... Uh, it's your first time? It is. Wow, so did Fonz take your uh, your first time commentary? And, you know, your own brother? <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, strange implications there, but... Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, Big Rig was uh, on here before he got called up to the match. Um, yeah, seems yeah. like a pretty pretty seasoned uh, commentator. It was pretty good to um, start being able to sit yeah, back. Go ahead. Take it. Yeah, and um, Big Rick's been, um, he's commentated Smash LLs. He's, he did the co last construct, the uh, finals, nice. the losers finals, winners finals, I believe. Yeah, losers finals, winners finals, grand finals. Um, and now he's here. And it's, you know, Madison scene. You know, we're going to keep it up over here. So we have Fonz versus... Glorio! Floppy disk. And we've... Is that a Sheik? It's a Sheik. We love All Sheiks right. here, don't we? We need Sheiks. We have Zero basically sheiks no here. Sheiks. Yeah. Um, so... We're re all really bad at the Sheik matchup. Unless Minnesota. Um... Good That's question. How we do it at the construct level. Sure. We'll keep, it, we'll keep it construct level. Yeah. So... Here's a... Here's the thing. You and your brother don't think she's the best character in the game? Uh, we do not. Um, yeah, I, I I, put a lot more value on killing early than I guess most people seem to because you see top level matches where people are living to 180 to 200 with Sheik players and to me that's a lot of chances. Like you can win neutral 20 times and Sheik's definitely capable of that. But if you lose neutral once, you're going to be taking so much so much of a risk just on that one loss of neutral compared to winning neutral yourself so many more times. So all those characters that can really take that take that, you know, lead in neutral with just that one hit, those meta knights that get that dash attack into up B, those are things that are can really mess up the Sheik's day. And we're getting right to the match Mario versus Sheik. So we get to start. Interrupts the fair, interrupts the F one string. That's a Mario special. Always just interrupts things with air, and it's kind of a really, really fast game. What do you, what do you see a lot in your display? Going in on this sheet, how do you, what do you see here? You are going to see a lot of buttons. Bonds is infamous for being extremely aggressive. Almost any chance he gets, he's very good at pressing the advantage. And in recent days, he's really upped his neutral game as well. So he's becoming a more complete player slowly. But he will always be known for his advantage. Yeah, I yeah, can see that. Man, he's kind of sitting there patiently. Like you can see him old. He didn't want to take that. He run up the shield and drop down there. Right now, he's playing right on stage. He's keeping him off. Oh, if the platform wasn't there, but he gets the up there afterwards and gets that kill. He's 40 That's it. I know Fox is not a fan of Smash, but I think that's a big reason why. He yeah. loves those jump read for forward and place. Just he will get those any chance he gets. Alright, whiff grab. See, that's another thing with these. The things that are normal, <laughs> that are normalized across characters, grab, grabs, dodges, those are things people can punish a lot with Sheik. Um, on Sheik. That's about that's about the level of punishment. That's where you see Sheik's most mess up is for grabs, you know. That's where people get punishment on it. A little deep on the bounce of fish. Back here. He's got a lot of extra credit going on, but this is about the percent Sheik starts down throwing up down throw up air traps with people. Right, and at the same time, Sheik, I would say, is not. Oh, okay. oh. all right. The Fawn special again. Stage spikes. Oh, he gets really? the tech zone. Mario. That was technical. That was, that that was technical. technical. It was probably technical. It's tough to tell, though, sometimes. All right, it's after every set. All right. So, something we can see, because the stage, we have seven stages here. Um, counter picks are Duck Hunt and, uh, and Lilac Cruise. Normal neutrals, we all know those five. FD, Dreamland, they're going to Dreamland. 
It's a good stage for Sheik. She's like, it's like Battlefield with all those cancels with the uh, platforms, but then the lower ceiling really helps her out with, um, or at least the top platform and the ceiling being lower than Battlefield. Really helps her out a little more than Battlefield. Really. Yeah, no farm as well as my fan of Dreamland, and really neither am I. I think it's kind of a superfluous stage, but. You know, I suppose it is different in Alpha Battlefield, yeah. considered. I just have never been a fan of the win, and never been a fan of the bottom of the stage either. Lots yeah, this, the look on this stage gives every recovery in the game. Every recovery. I've seen Sheik's SD. I've, that happened in one round. Sheik. That doesn't really happen that often. It wasn't off of side game. It was off of the But this is a lot closer game than we've usually seen. This is, um... Counter breaks so far are really working out getting these powers. I think um is playing a little bit safe on Sheik. Yeah, I would say definitely. But the thing is, 77% of the With Mario, it, I guess it's a little different, but that Vanish is very nice. Vanish is one of those things, one of those only things of Sheik's out kill early and challenges Mario's up. <laughs> yeah. For those of you who don't know, Mario's Up Smash is the best in the game. It is, there's no, there's like no really anything close besides, you know, Dr. Mario's and Luigi's, which have the same properties as Mario's. Right. But Mario's kills up the top, those can go off the side. So Mario's kind of wins that battle. And wow, Fonz really goes into these little sets. Yeah, JC reversing Up Smash will basically get rid of any lane problems that it has. And. Basically, Invincible Frame 5, I believe, move. It's, it's just an insane kill move. You don't need kill confirms when you have it. Yeah. We haven't seen those grab kill confirms here, and I think it might be right outside of the percent. It would have to be near Dodge Reap to get the down throw off it right here. Or maybe get some needles or a bouncing fish right now. But nope, just jump, jumping, spacing those back airs. Spacing back airs is usually a very strong Oh, oh my goodness. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we can... Defensive spikes. Well, we'll call that a defensive spike. Okay, that was that was a swift See, tour. Fonz has a spike compendium. He has categorized different spikes. We've got the regular spikes, we've got defensive spikes, we've got on-stage spikes, where you don't have to leave the stage, you don't take any risk. It's, uh... He's definitely the spike... The spike king. Now, yeah. 